Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, thanks for checking it out. Um, today I am working on a still uh, TS500i uh, cutoff saw. Um, it was brought in and the customer stated that it won't start and that he was noticing that gas was coming out of the exhaust. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do some troubleshooting and try to figure out what is going on with this thing. All right, with any uh, two-stroke that comes in, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the exhaust. So we gotta remove all those plastic pieces here uh, to get the blade off so we can actually get to the exhaust. All right, I didn't really catch getting this off in video. I just gotta loosen the belt, pop the belt off, and then this whole thing comes off. All right, so now I'm just using my flashlight. I'm looking at the intake side of the cylinder. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Then we're gonna manually just turn the engine over and we're inspecting the piston and the rings. Looks pretty good. All right, next thing we wanna check is for spark. I'm um, we'll also do a compression test. I suspect the compression should be pretty good. Yeah, I decided to take the plastic off and I'm finding that somebody's been in here already. There's a bunch of uh, screws missing. All right, finally got it off. <laughs> Yep, somebody put a new spark plug in it. So we'll test for spark here. We got no spark. Okay, next thing that you want to check is all these wires is this you know this module right here it's all electronically controlled now and make sure that all these wires for each of these plugs are tight um i was actually watching a video on youtube i think it's donny boy 73 he has a small engine channel he was troubleshooting one of these and he says he just pulls on each one of the wires not hard but just give us a, a, a little tug and make sure they just don't come out. Because he has found that sometimes these wires are loose. And in his video, one of these up here, it actually just pulled on it, it came right out. So that's why the saw wouldn't start. So we just go through each one, pull on it gently. And they all seem to be tight. So next, I'm gonna pop each clip off and clean and make sure that the co connections in there are not corroded. All right, everything is plugged back in. Everything's cleaned out. And of course, I don't have this, this top on, but we need to make sure that it's in the run position. We don't want the kill switch engaged. And let's see if it tries to fire. All right, well, I'm at a spot that I can no longer uh, troubleshoot this saw, and I'm guessing that you're probably in the exact same boat. Um, but at least it's something to try, because um, if one of those wires was loose and you can push it back in and get it to stay and get your saw to run, great. But that's not the case in this one. Um, I do not have the tools to troubleshoot the the computer module, and you really don't want to start just replacing parts to replace parts. Now, I've had spare parts laying around. That would be helpful, but I don't. So I'm actually going to just call the customer up on this one, and I'm going to refer them to uh, a still dealer slash vendor slash whatever you want to call them, but hopefully there's some place in town that, you know, 
techs have the tools to diagnose this electronic ignition on this on this saw.